Hey guys, coming to y'all today with an awesome video. Today I decided to come and do my three month surge anniversary update video. BSG surgery, all of that. As y'all know, in January of this year, 2020, I had BSG surgery and it was performed right here in Lake Charles by my awesome doctor, Dr. Nazia Saleem, Dr. Saleem. If you're in Lake Charles area and you're looking to have weight loss surgery, look him up. He is an awesome surgeon awesome everything i have had not one complication in the three months that i had the surgery okay first thing first let me start by saying hi my name is sharice and this is time to grow with sharice if you're new to my channel and you want to follow me because of my mukbangs my bsg surgery anything like that um follow me hit that subscribe button right there um become part of the grub family yes we still grub over here i just show y'all a way to do it with the vsg surgery i show y'all a way to enjoy healthy meals i show y'all a way to stop eating when you full and you can still enjoy everything my doctor told me you'll still be able to enjoy everything you just will eat smaller amounts and it works okay let's start this video right now if you want to know what's been going on with me for the last three months we're going to talk food restrictions emotions all that y'all come on let's get started okay all right, y'all. First thing first, um, let's start off with my stats. Okay. When I started this journey, I was 349 pounds. It was like, uh, I was in the midst of doing all the mukbangs and everything on this channel. If you go back and look, I can see such a difference now that I couldn't see before, but I was 349 pounds. On the day of surgery, January 23rd, 2020, I was 329 pounds. Okay. So I lost 20 pounds. Okay. From the beginning till you had to do the two week diet and honey liquid diet and i lost 20 pounds after surgery i eventually started going down i couldn't wait till i could get under 300 pounds y'all and i got down to 299 then i got down to 280 today i am 276 pounds yay so today i'm 276 pounds i'm so proud of myself i'm trying to get down to 250 um altogether i have lost 73 pounds 53 pounds in surgery y'all yes so you are able to do this okay this is not gonna be a long video but i'm gonna get straight to the point tell y'all the facts and let's keep it pushing okay first thing first we're gonna talk about is how i feel today today i'm feeling great today i'm feeling full of energy today i am feeling awesome my energy level is extremely high right now um after i lost weight look like i'm able to do a lot more things that i was able to do i can exercise for longer i used to do just a mile now i can almost do two miles of walking i've seen some people who can do like four or five six miles i have not got there yet but my energy level is double what it was i'm still kind of lazy don't want to um do a lot of exercising lazy as far as exercising i don't know but these days right now with quarantine going on I just don't want to do anything okay I have to push myself to exercise sometimes but as far as energy wise like getting up getting dressed uh doing my own thing not telling my daughter can you give me some water Kayla can you go and get this for me and she noticed lately she was like mama I noticed that you getting all your own things you don't ask me to get you don't never ask me to get you nothing no more that is a non-scale victory right there so I'm feeling so great I'm feeling so energized I'm feeling so much better with this weight off of me i mean it just is what it is i'm feeling awesome uh i no longer have diabetes i no longer have high blood pressure um so i'm not feeling any of those uh symptoms that i used to feel you know so it's just an awesome journey y'all for three months just to be three months and already feeling this good honey it's got to be something that this thing does right all right let's talk about weight gain and weight loss let's get on weight gain first now First thing first, you go through all this so you don't want to have to, uh, how can I say it? You go through this whole process, then you go through the surgery. So you don't want to have to feel like you're doing it all for nothing. So even if you gain like one to two pounds, it will hit you like a bullet. I noticed that uh, on this journey, I have went from like, all of a sudden I'm weighing, uh, let's say I was to this just happened i was 279 so i was so happy because i was in the 270s and then like three days later I, I stepped on the scale again and i was up to 281 i was broken i was so hurt i was so emotional i was so depressed and that's exactly what happened so i was like what am, what am i doing wrong what am i doing wrong what am i doing wrong so i kind of like beat myself up I, I was like thinking 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 like what am i doing wrong and 
then I got on scale today and I was 276. I had dropped. So it's up and down. It could be so many different things, okay? The first thing you want to start doing when you start thinking that you gain weight is trying to exercise more and eat less. And that doesn't always work with VSG people because for one, we don't eat a lot of calories. So exercising burns calories, which makes us go into a calorie deficient or something. And I really don't know the whole process. And that doesn't work because you're eating less, you're exercising more, and you're going to be in a stall, a standstill. And if you gained, you're going to be stuck at that weight if you don't gain, okay? Some people have even gained in this weight thing so the weight gain is something that is so mental y'all mental okay now when you do gain weight some of the things that it could be could be that it is your menstrual cycle as women we get these menstrual cycles and we get water weight and i didn't think it was real but it is real and it will give you one or two pounds a week or two before your menstrual cycle but after you usually tend to drop well i do i tend to drop but lord you will gain and it will throw your mental off so one day i had gained when i had gained last week i went on a forum on facebook and so many ladies told me so many things mental cycle increase my water intake increase my protein stuff that i was slacking on because it, for one it was time for my menstrual for two i was not drinking enough water i still am not drinking enough water i'm trying though and three you might need a lax tip because for some reason on this journey at three months honey i say at least once a week i gotta take a lax tip and i eat a lot of cheese too so i stay constipated i stay um where i need a lax tip and it will make you gain i didn't know that it'll make you feel just have like one or two pounds in there that's crazy y'all but everything in the body weighs something if you didn't know that okay also if in this weight gain thing uh, it does happen a lot to a lot of VSG patients or weight loss surgery patients. Join the Facebook groups. Like I just said, I went on there. I put everything I felt. It's private. It's personal. And I had like 60 women give me comments and salads. And it really helped me. And everything they said, with me being only three months out, some of them have been doing this for two years, five years, a year, seven months. And they know you know and it's good to have somebody like a big sister who can tell you what you need to do when you need to do it and how to do it and how to overcome it and how not to feel so emotionally broken okay so join you some facebook groups some forums whatever you have to do to help you to get through these things because it really helped me i felt so much better i did all the things they said and i got results now as far as weight loss it is it's awesome when you do lose weight like today i felt so good i go in there and get on a scale commando okay nothing on and when i had went up to 281 after i was 279 it really kind of broke me but i was like this scale gotta be broken okay it's gotta be. this is a good scale i'm making like a 50 dollars scale okay it it's got an app everything so today i had to recalibrate it and everything and uh for my settings and when i got on it uh reset the bluetooth and of course Everything was fine. It still had my old weight in it. Everything added up and I was 276. Sometimes the scale can be off. You have to make sure it's on a flat surface. You have to make sure it's clean. You have to make sure your feet are on the monitors. This is a very expensive scale. So I know that's right. And plus my husband's weight was the same. It's just I had gained. And you know, but then today I lost. So it's weight loss, weight gain. It's mental, number one. But it's physical because you also have the ups and the downs but it's a mental thing especially with you being a bsg patient because being somebody who was extremely fat before you don't want to do all this lose weight feel good about yourself and then gain all the way back i just cannot see myself doing it i'm really 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 trying not to do that but it can happen i've seen people who it happened to so since i know this already and i'm three months mentally i'm trying to set myself up with healthy habits so that's weight loss weight gain three months it happens and stalls happen stalls is when you stuck at a certain week some people be stuck at stalls for weeks and weeks at a time and it's just part of the journey all right let's talk about calories okay at three months i can intake from 800 to a thousand calories a day some people cannot do that some people tell me oh i'm still at um 600 calories i can't eat anything baby 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 let me get close baby I'm looking at myself okay mm -hmm. this journey is different for everyone this journey is totally different for everyone this journey is not the same for everyone for one 
I can take in more calories, but I burn more calories probably. I don't know. Maybe my body just needs more calories. Um, I'm low carb. I am, uh, well, I'll talk about that later. But anyway, as far as calories, I do 800 to 1,000, okay? Um, I, hmm, I don't go over 1,200 calories. Like Dr. Now said, okay, no, I'm playing. <laughs> But I haven't talked to a nutritionist yet to find out exactly what I'm doing right and wrong. I know the scale is dropping, so I'm doing something right. I try to eat portions. I try to stop when I'm full, and that's all I can do. Um, may, I don't eat bread. You know what I'm saying? Stuff that I don't eat. I'm going to talk about all of that when I talk about the food. But as far as calories, I try to stick with uh, 800 to 1,000, and definitely I do not go over 1,200 calories in a day. Like Dr. Now said, okay, no. <laughs> He's the only person I got to go by. I stay watching six times my life, okay? And I'm playing, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's talk about restriction. Restriction um, is strong. My restriction some days is very strong. My restriction some days is very um, not so strong, okay? Some days my restriction is so strong that I can barely eat anything. Like I'll take a couple bites, I'm extremely full. Another thing I noticed though with my restriction, I can kind of, like work it around where if I take smaller bites and stuff like I'm supposed to <laughs> if I chew all my food smaller bites I can eat more sometimes even if I do that I cannot eat a lot regardless um waiting an hour sometimes when your food gonna get cold but waiting about an hour then you can eat a little bit more I noticed that because my restriction right now today is extremely strong okay yesterday it was extremely strong day before that I was eating like crazy so I don't know um restriction is different I don't know really like how tight he made or any of that I just know at three months I'm still having a really strong restriction and I know they say this is the honeymoon phase from the first year so I'm really trying to learn healthy habits I say again because healthy habits is going to teach me in the long run how to kind of portion size all that and to stop eating when I'm full stop eating when I'm full that's something that I'm drilling in my head stop eating when you're full stop eating when you're full if you wait an hour and you're still hungry and you only ate a little tiny bit eat a little bit more stop eating when you're full that's something I didn't know even being overweight I would eat so I was so full that I could get sick but wouldn't throw up just would feel extremely so stuff because I just wanted the food I just wanted to eat it and I'm trying to teach myself to stop eating when I'm full stop Sherry stop that's something you have to really incorporate. And at three months, it's still the old habits. I eat fast. I don't want to stop eating. Now, I don't. I have not thrown up. Thank God. Or they call it dumping. I haven't had any of that. So, I'm grateful. Okay? Food. Okay. I can pretty much eat anything. I can pretty much eat anything. I test it out by just eating it. But I've eaten pretty much everything that you can eat that I usually eat. And nothing really bothers me the only thing is with food is portion control and stopping eating when i'm full that's the only thing i try to do also i don't eat any carbs i don't eat bread i make chow for bread which i just started doing that because i just got the little waffle machine and it was a godsend because i was struggling i don't eat any bread but i have ate the low carb tortillas and they're fine the whole wheat ones and the regular ones they're 70 calories for one and i can eat one okay Maybe a half of one if it's stuffed with like shrimp and lettuce and taco stuff. But um, low carb wraps I can eat. I was I don't eat any bread. I just don't. I don't eat any rice. I only eat cauliflower rice. I will never eat rice, and I I've been doing that before I had surgery, and I stopped eating regular rice. And I don't eat any pasta. I have tried protein pasta. I've tried wheat pasta. None of that agrees with this tummy. I have tried the palmino palomino pasta i didn't like it i tried the spaghetti squash i liked it but it's for certain things it would be good with i have a uh a, a little bag of pasta that's like mushrooms i think in a little water bag i got that i haven't tried that yet i'm going to try that with some spaghetti sauce and some turkey meatballs maybe i'll do a mukbang on that i don't know but i'm going to try that and see if i like it um and we'll see so pasta is out I'm gonna try to find a substitute pasta but carbs out because eventually I plan on being 
completely keto okay right now i'm hooked on the um almonds i eat i can eat almonds like crazy i eat the habanero barbecue almonds i love them and these parmesan crisps from uh sam's club are the whisk wisps the little cheese crackers that they have called whisk but i buy a big old bag from sam's and i can eat that like crazy so that's my two things that i snack on all the time which is both very good for you and very keto so it doesn't affect me like weight wise right now i love the protein drinks i love the oats the green one and the maple one are bomb i don't like the blueberry one i have some in there and just sitting in there my husband is gonna probably drink them i don't like the blueberry but i love the uh green one which is the maple i think no the oats and maple and then the green one is the anyway the oats premier protein drinks are bomb i love them i love the premier cookies too oh god they're so good wait is that premier no that's quest cookies okay i like those but they high in calories but uh, so much protein in them so you know right now i'm following a diet of low carb low fat high protein and i'm gonna do that until i'm probably about six months into this journey and then i'll do i'll switch try to switch to keto which is um keto is high fat i think low carb high fat high protein that's what i'll do probably six months to a year from now but right now i'm doing low fat low carb high protein Woo! and it's working out great for me okay i'm feeling good i'm looking good i think i like i think i'm looking gang gang oh, God. and food wise i just have to make good choices i have to watch my portions and i have to stop when i'm full stop when you're full Da, 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 when you're full okay we're gonna talk about emotions this whole journey is a mental crazy thing and being female a woman woman yes i'm woman um when we have our cycles our emotions are up down all around we tend to gain weight at that time which does not help when you're going through a mental battle already because you're hormonal Yes, we get hormonal. That's why women flip out, act crazy, and men just have to learn how to deal with it. Sorry, men. Sorry. We're cuckoo. Every month. For maybe we I say the first week I'm okay. The second week I'm getting a little crazy. I'm hurting in my back. The third week I'm plum cuckoo. The fourth week I have my period. And then I'm okay. And we got one good week coming up again. And my husband and my son know it. And they will still clear steer clear of me when it's going on. Michaela oh my god two women in the house it's the same thing anyway emotionally i'm fine water weight comes when i am about to get my cycle which makes me go into like a complete state of depression okay and especially if i'm having my cycle i weigh myself and i'm about to have my period and i gain weight emotionally i am a hot mess rick and then i don't know why and that's why i have to go on these forums and they help me but emotionally other than that i'm happy but I don't know it's just with this surgery some people even get so severely depressed i have not had depression but i have got emotional like i'll cry if i think that i'm not doing something right i'll be so obsessed with trying to figure out what am i doing wrong what am i doing wrong i'll go to my husband i'll just talk 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 talk, talk and be like i don't know what to do maybe i need to cut carbs maybe i'm not doing this right and he'll just be like he's so supportive thank god for a supportive husband he's been with me this whole journey and i love him okay carly i love you boo but emotionally when we go through we go through the crying spells um the depression the anxiety about weight gain or something you know and it doesn't help that a uh, cycle comes that we get like triple emotional about it so you know emotional everybody's gonna go through their own thing some people have bipolar some people have uh depression already i don't have any of that but every month honey <laughs> i get cuckoo <laughs> So, I just want to talk to you about a few little things that I have went through on this journey uh, at three months. Three months, I am down 50-something pounds since surgery. 53 pounds. 73 pounds since the start of it all. And you really do feel so much better, energized, be able to move, feeling good, looking good. Hmm, huh, hmm. No, I'm playing. But y'all know. I just wanted to come and tell y'all thank y'all so much for following me on this journey three month update i'll come back i'm gonna do a six month update i'm gonna wait till six months 
okay and that'll be around my birthday and i'm gonna do a six month update in between that y'all get hauls and mukbangs and like so y'all still gonna see me okay i love y'all so much thank y'all for following your girl on this bsg journey okay always remember to dab on your haters all right and spark on them okay and i will see y'all the next time bye y'all